That is the camera fluid motion slider from photography and cinema. Hi, I'm Grant. Here's my thoughts on using the camera fluid motion slider for shooting video. Firstly, what is it? It is a 31 inch or 78 centimeter video slider with its main party trick being the flywheel counterweight system on the end. And by means of comparison, I have been using the Syrup Magic Carpet Short Track Slider for the last couple of years for shooting real estate video predominantly, and I found it a fantastic slider. So that's, I guess, kind of my benchmark to see how the new, or the Camera Slider, I have trouble saying that word, Camera, it's spelt K-A-M-E-R-A-R, -R, Camera, Camera. So first up, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what comes in the box with the Camera Fluid Motion Slider. It comes in a nylon carry bag with a separate compartment there for the counterweight flywheel. It is actually a really nicely made slider. It has carbon fibre rails. It has a large, well-made slider carriage with a central 3 8 inch mount for tripod heads or quick release plates. It has a brake on the side of the slider carriage to stop the carriage running away with you or running away with your camera if, you're, if your tripod is left on a bit of an angle. And of equal importance to me is the embedded bubble on the slider carriage. For those of you that have used sliders on tripods, well know that it can take a bit of leveling, so the more bubbles the better. Underneath the video carriage runs on six rollers and is connected via a rubber belt to the flywheel counterweight on the end. Most importantly, these six rollers provide a smooth and quiet ride for your camera. Also underneath the rails you'll find the tripod mounting plate with both 3 8 inch and quarter inch mounting or standard tripod mounting holes. It comes with fully adjustable legs at either end for using the slider on the ground or uneven surfaces. I quite like this and I'll often take my slider off the tripod when shooting real estate interiors to use on kitchen benches and the like. Now its main party piece is the flywheel counterweight which can be removed or attached again via the supplied screw and allen wrench and is connected via the rubber belts on the underside to the slider carriage. So how did it perform? Really well actually. The added weight or inertia that the flywheel on the end or attached to your slider carriage really helps, or I found it really helped to keep you or give you quite smooth camera movements. Often for those of you that have used sliders a bit, it's quite hard, especially when you're going slower, to keep a continual or uniform speed when doing a slider movement. And just by having that extra weight or resistance or inertia, if you like, I'm not sure the correct terminology there from the flywheel, it actually can really smooth out your sort of perhaps juddery movements. And I, I really like it. And I found it, it was actually so smooth that I could actually come to I could do a slider move and come to a smooth stop or a smooth start as well I found that I didn't use the handle on the counter wheel flyweight as much as I thought it would and I actually preferred just to push the camera using my hand on the tripod slider carriage and that helped me get as smooth a movements as I was after however saying that I did find the handle was quite good if I was doing a very slow slider movement which can be really tricky when you're almost coming to a stop when you're pushing your when you're pushing your camera manually on your slider whereas using the handle I could maintain a quite slow slider slider movement so the cons or niggles I had with the slider one was I would have quite like the slider track to be just perhaps another two or three inches longer because I found when you have the attached flywheel counterweight you actually lose a bit of your slider length on your track because your camera bumps into it on the end and I found I was using every bit of that slider length to get my to, or to give myself enough of a duration for my video shot. Also I guess the cost of having that flywheel which I really like on the tripod is added weight and for those of you that use sliders you'll know that one of the trickiest things or the hardest things to do is to find a tripod that can lock your your slider on so when your camera moves down to the end it doesn't doesn't tilt or tilt down and give you an uneven horizon you need a, tr a very sturdy tripod to lock your tilt access on when you're using the slider so having that extra weight and then when the camera was at that end you, you're putting a lot of load pressure on your tripod at that end of the slider rails this is not particular to the slider though i find it even on my Syrup Magic Carpet Slider, exactly the same thing. As soon as the camera gets to the end of your tripod, or to the end of the rail, sorry, on your slider, it wants to sag down, so you need a really sturdy tripod to hold it up. 
The price at the time of recording this video is that this slider or the camera fluid motion slider is priced at $249.99 US and for example my Syrup Magic Carpet slider is priced at $279 US so this is very competitively priced. Overall I've enjoyed my time with the camera fluid motion slider. It is a really nicely made piece of kit and I love having that flywheel there to, to help smooth out my slider shot. It could have done with being perhaps a, a, a two or three inches longer but overall I, I would recommend this slider for those that are in the market perhaps for a video slider. That's it from me, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.